Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I have another flip and color for you today. This was sent to me by the illustrator Claire Blossom. I will do a flip through and I'm gonna color one of the images in here for you today. This book is called Fun Adult Coloring Book. Hopefully it's not glaring too bad. Um, and is by the illustrator Claire Blossom, which can be purchased on Amazon. So the images are described as unique hand-drawn illustrations, 50 angelic feather drawings with a quote on each page that will inspire your inner child to color away. This is for all skill levels and single-sided pages in large format. So perfect for your markers, um, alcohol or water-based, color pencils, gel pens, distress inks, or chalk pastels will all work fine for this book. All right, so I'll get through these kind of beginner pages here. And the unique feathery images have combinations of florals and like leaf patterns, um, zen tangle like doodles, but then there's also some little surprise images that go along with the quote. And once I kind of come across those, I'll point those out. All right, so here's one. The quote is, the sun smiled the day you were born, and there's a little sun and a baby here in the feather. And this one I thought was cute. Uh, changing others is like doing their laundry, and then you have a little clothes, a little line of clothes here. This one, the quote talks about ice cream, so there's some nice little ice cream images in here. And I would say the quotes aren't really my thing, but the designs are very pretty. Uh, not something I would typically pick out on my own, but I'm actually kind of thinking about um, using this for testing out color combinations. You know, sometimes, uh, when you see a color palette online, it doesn't always translate well on a coloring page. Um, so this one might be a way to just kind of work out those color combinations and see if, if, it, if you like it. Maybe, um, you know, do different types of color balance, you know, maybe more of one color, um, less of another color and see how that plays out. This one has genius in the quote. So there's a little light bulb here, a little scroll of paper. This one has a little bird and a birdhouse. When in doubt, always smile first. Oh, there's a flower with a cute little smiley face there and then a lady with a nice smile. scene with some mountains and a tree. This one's pretty. It's a lady and it has the kind of designs in as a dress.
right, and that is all the images. Sarah Renee Clark has some beautiful fall color palettes on her website. I found this one that has several shades of purple, a very light green, and a deep dark orange. And I was trying to pick out all alcohol markers, but I couldn't find exact matches, so I picked out some Prismacolors to get it to a closer match, and then added a few dark colors for shading. So here are the Ohuhu alcohol markers, and then a few Prismacolors. All right, so I don't really have a game plan. I just know that the picture with the color palette was very purple heavy. So I'm trying to fill in with lots of the purple and then add a few touches of the orange and green. I also wanna play with some different color combos with the stripes and some of these designs. Uh, do some with different shades of purples like the light and the dark um, or the orange and purple or purple and green to see what I like and don't like together. This also allows me to see how the color pencil does with shading over the markers. And it, you know if it blends well, if I can use a blender pencil or another color pencil to kind of help blend those two colors along.
All right, I'm going to use a fine liner for the lettering and then also go over some of the black line art. It gets a little cloudy sometimes uh, with color pencils going over the, the black lines. Uh, so just darkening that up a bit. And then I'm gonna use a Tombow brush marker for the lettering. It makes it go a lot faster. Um, not as easy to control, but that's okay. I'm just trying to um, get this done here. And I can even do a little blending with the Tombows. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. I will be using this color palette on another page in a different book this month, so check back on my channel for November completed pages to see that. And I'd like to thank Claire Blossom for sending me this book and for thinking of my channel. I really appreciate it.